Hello students and instructors. My name is Nate with Wi-Fi CFI and for this week's quick aviation training tip, we are going to be talking about the four stroke cycle of piston engines. Now the reason this is important, well it's going to be important for your written test and your check ride, but also the four stroke cycle, the, the piston engines in, in the horizontally composed configuration is the most common configuration you are going to find in general aviation aircraft, the most common configuration you're going to find with engines in flight training airplanes, these small flight training airplanes. And they almost always incorporate the four stroke cycle. So we're going to go ahead and cover that really briefly today so that you understand the four different strokes and the four different steps of the four stroke cycle and what your engine is doing when it's producing power. Now this is a very, very small section of our aircraft systems lesson. So if you want to learn more about engines, propellers, anything that has to do with aircraft systems, go to wifi.cfi.com and pull up the aircraft systems lesson. It's almost a two hour lesson where we cover all the systems on aircraft, landing gear, props, uh, flaps, we cover the whole thing. All right. Again, this is a very small portion, but this is what we're going to use today for our quick aviation training tip. Let's jump into it. Engine. In a four-stroke engine, the conversion of chemical energy into mechanical energy, so taking that fuel and air mixture and turning it into pistons moving and crankshafts turning, all right, usually occurs over a four-stroke cycle. You've got the intake stroke right here, the compression stroke, the power stroke, and the exhaust stroke. Now, here is our piston. Here's our cylinder. Okay, In the intake stroke, the intake valve opens and the fuel and air mixture is sucked down into the cylinder. Then you have the compression stroke, so once this piston gets down to the bottom, it comes around and it compresses that fuel and air mixture into a tight little area here. You then have the power stroke, and you can see here in the compression and power stroke that the intake valves and uh, exhaust valves are closed. Okay? So they close so that none of that air goes backwards or fuel goes backwards and it compresses them into a very tight area. Then you've got the power stroke. In this power stroke, you can either have it with compression ignition, where it's just compressed really, really hard, and you get the explosion, or you could have a spark plug, which is not diagrammed on this picture, but you could have a spark plug, maybe like right here, that would cause the spark and give you the power. Once that explosion happens in the power stroke, it's gonna force that cylinder back down, it's gonna turn the crankshaft and start to turn the propeller. And then as the piston comes back around its cycle and up again, the exhaust valve will open and push out all of that exhaust to go out your exhaust pipe. Then the cylinder would obviously come down, or sorry, the piston in the cylinder would come down and back around again to the intake valve. So then the intake valve would open, suck in fuel and air, compress it, explode it, blow it out. That's how a four stroke engine works. So we already talked about these. I'm not going to go through and read them all back again, but these are the different strokes and it's how they work. If you want to pause the video and read them again, but I just explained it to you. In a four cylinder engine, each cylinder operates on a different stroke. So cylinder one is on the intake stroke, you know, cylinder two is on compression three and four. So they're always on a different stroke. Sorry about that. You got intake, compression, power, exhaust, they're always on different strokes. The continuous rotation of the crankshaft is maintained by the precise timing of the power strokes in each cylinder. So to make sure that they're always on different strokes, we have to have very, very precise timing. And we time those power strokes in each cylinder so that they are all working together. We don't want any of our pistons working against each other. Otherwise, we're going to have problems with that engine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the four-stroke cycle. So for all of the best aviation tips and tricks you already know where to go go to wi-fi cfi.com you can study them through our website or through our free mobile app which you can download by following the instructions on our website at wi-fi cfi.com so again we've got tons of tips and tricks hundreds of hours of free study content we have full length audiobooks hundreds of podcasts and over 2,000 free flashcards all the way from private pilot to cfi cfii mei and beyond so check it out and we'll see you next week